uh, I think it's good to just remind ourselves that we can talk to anyone about anything. And um, there's, there's good means of doing it. And a lot of people on this call themselves have tried to learn how to incorporate SE a bit into how they talk with people and found some really good um, um, productivity from it. And my small tip for this SE corner today is you can summarize a lot of SE down to just three questions that you can repeat over and over again or in any order you want. The first question I like to ask is, what do you mean by that? And I find that that is a great clarification question to figure out what someone means when they say things that obviously means a lot to them, but never really had a chance to think about critically. Like try to get them to define that in their own terms, not from someone else's words, but from their own. What do you mean by that? Second, how can I test that? Or how can we test that? Don't make it a group project. And that is more of a question that doesn't Matt put the weight on their, their claim that they're making or on them personally, but really about their methodology that they're using to get to their conclusion. How can I test that claim? How can I know if it's true? And then the last question is, is that test reliable? Because if it is, that's great. But if it's not, that says a lot more than you telling them that their claim is wrong. And so if you just do variations of those three questions just by themselves, you need to make some marvelous progress on your SE. What do you mean by that? How can we test that? Is that test reliable? Fantastic way to go about it. And everything else is improv and, and your own personal input. Uh, Jake, you've done some SE before. I've seen you do some, we've oh. done some talks before. What do you think about those three questions? What do you mean by that? How can we test that? Is that test reliable? I think you nailed it. I love summaries like that. It's, it's, SE, it can be kind of hard for me to, to wrap my head around sometimes, like where we're going. So, so little summaries like that can really, help jog a conversation in the right direction. Hmm. And yeah, those three points, what do you mean by that? How can we test that? Yes. It's, it's, it's excellent. I, I, I use that when I'm having difficult conversations with my family members. Yeah. And, and it, it, I, I think it helps because they're talking about what they believe in rather than me questioning it so much. It's, it's, you know, where are you coming from? What led you to, to, to where you are right now? Yeah, I also wanna emphasize that it's not about playing dumb when you ask what do you mean by that? It's trying to understand what they mean by a word that you have an impression of because you guys might be using the same vocabulary but completely different dictionaries. And so it's worthwhile to understand what they mean when they say words. That way you can come to a better, you know, understanding of each other. Uh, I'll leave one more last question before we get to our main topic. Boudreaux, you've done SE with me before. We've gone out and done it before. You you have a really great friend who's busy flipping houses that I'm sure you have a lot of deep conversations with. Have you ever asked him, what do you mean by that? How can we test that? Is that a reliable test? You know, that's a that's an excellent point because uh, my buddy Chad and I have had a lot of conversations around this whole area of topics, and uh, we generally agree on most everything. But uh, there are topics where we kind of bounce ideas off each other because I'm not certain. I believe uh, it's the same way he believes, you know, particularly he's a little more Buddhist in some of his thinkings. Uh, but I, I've never thought of actually trying to use SE on it, but I think that would be really interesting and, and a good exercise. So I'm going to take these three, you know, canned questions and then uh, give it a spin on our next talk. Ooh, maybe, I'm excited. Maybe record it. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe record it. Anyway, uh, so thank you so much. Oh, Dell, feel free to weigh in. You're muted right now, sir. Very good. There we go. Uh, I'd like to say that your SC stuff, while it seems to be very, very modified from what uh, the ancient Greek philosophers were doing, it's very, very similar to what you would have in a psychiatric environment, where all you're doing is you're asking questions in order to get the person to pull out and examine his feelings or whatever else he needs to be examined. You yeah. ask questions in order to get for them to look at, uh, at uh, some different aspect. How did you feel when you stabbed your wife? Uh, what was going through? Was there anything that was happening between your <laughs> wife and you before you stabbed her? And why so didn't you invite me so to the on. wedding? And the whole, uh, whole idea is you get the person talking by asking them questions rather than challenging them. And that's been that we've been using that for a long time and it's pretty successful. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. Oh. I wanted to talk about moon Jesus. Okay. That offends me. 
Hey, nice transition. It just so happens. 